Today, I'm going to give you an update on my live looping progress with the Sheeran Looper X. Freebie. So about a month ago, I received a Sheeran Looper X courtesy of Zounds.com. Thank you so very much to them. Huge shout out. Uh, and, and yeah, I threw it right into my live rig and started uh, attempting to live loop. And I quickly... Uh, discovered, I made a video on this, I quickly discovered that live looping is a totally different uh, method of playing live than I was expecting it to be. I mentioned in that video how when you're playing live, uh, normally like with a band, uh, natural push and pull can be a good thing and you can use that to adjust, you know, uh, the subtle feel of a, a song or even just like a rhythm. Uh, but when you're live looping, uh, a little pull you know, it starts to happen every single time if you loop it, and that feels bad. Same thing with a little push. Uh, with live looping, you really want to be as precise as possible because whatever you play, that's what you're going to be listening to for the next three to four to five, however many minutes long your song is. Uh, and that was something that was really interesting to adjust to um, and definitely took some practice. I certainly had to rework my internal clock. God, this is gonna be hard. It's so bad, I'm like stuttering. What the hell? Okay, come on. Again, I'm like stuttering. What is this? I'm so, <laughs> I suck. That's a, you know what? I'm going to label this. I suck. Yeah, like I said, it was uh, it was a rough time. Uh, definitely a wake-up call for me. I was excited because uh, it meant there was something new that I was going to have to learn, and I, I love learning, especially um, musically. Um, so that was exciting. So I just got straight to practicing, and, uh, well, a month later, I'm pretty happy to say that I've gotten to a point where I feel... Uh, I'm pretty consistent now. I can get through songs um, time after time after time without having to stop and redo loops or stop and redo the whole song. Uh, that <laughs> was a rough one uh, for those first couple weeks. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Here is a clip of me playing uh, my original track, Just Waiting. Uh, there's no vocals in it yet. Uh, but yeah, here's, the, uh, here's that clip.
it might be kind of hard to see uh, in this clip, but I've gotten so comfortable with the position of the Looper X and just the layout of the rig in general because I've been practicing so much uh, that I'm starting to hit pedals on the Looper X without even having to look at them, which uh, is great because it means audience engagement uh, is going to be a lot better. Uh, of course, you want to spend more time looking out and interacting with your audience when you're playing live rather than looking down at pedals on the floor uh, or any really of the rest of your live rig. Now, when it comes to just talking about the Looper X by itself, all in all, I've been pretty happy with it. Um, the hardware is just fantastic. It's big, heavy, robust. I love the pedals. Uh, seriously, the pedals are incredible. Um, there are a couple issues I have. Uh, with it, but they're things that could be easily fixed via firmware updates, and it's only been out a month, so I don't really want to get into those yet. I'd like to give in music, fingers crossed, <laughs> a little more time to actually get a firmware update out. I would love some communication from in music. You know, I would love them to say, "Hey, we are working on a firmware update." Um, so far, they have given us zero, but that kind of seems to be on par for all those in music brands. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get into that stuff just yet. Um, USB MIDI pass-through is one thing I'd like to see, and there can be an overdub glitch that'll rear its uh, ugly head from time to time. I don't really do overdubbing in the show other than one spot, uh, so far anyway, for all the songs I have worked out, so it's not a huge deal to me. Um, but yeah, if, if we go another couple months with no firmware update, uh, you can definitely expect a video on those issues. Like I said, I'm just going to give them the benefit of the doubt right now and uh, give them a little more time to get an update out to us. But yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with the Looper X. Hardware-wise, it's phenomenal. Uh, I'm pretty happy with my own live looping progress as well. Hopefully you can see the progress uh, in that uh, clip I just showed. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about it, and I'm super excited to bring the show to an actual actual in-person audience very soon. There will be more details on that uh, coming in the near future. I do hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you all so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.